Hello and welcome to Fastnet Harlem next to the Fabo where you can get a nice crocket if you're in the country anyway let's check it out can you see the display a lot of sunshine 6% arrival a bit more than the other time uh, Look at this, it immediately starts at 87 kilowatts. Huh, it seems more than last time. So, yeah, day two, my first fast net visit. Of course, it had to happen, even though they're the same ABB machines uh, as we tried yesterday, for example, at uh, Toto in Rotterdam. Ah, uh, look, it's going up already after one minute of charging. And um, where will it go? So I tricked the navigation into sending me to um, a supercharger in Bad Hoevedorp. So I hope that will help raise the charging speed above this level. I still wonder though how how Tesla programmed this battery mm. as you can see we're now at 10% after one and a half minutes oh there's an Ampera E we'll probably get some fries here you see they do deliveries with electric bikes as well go Fabo but this is not a great result I wonder why it's stuck at this slow speed huh it's already dropping so yeah i didn't do a lot of highway driving today i took my sister one of the few people that i still see to uh, to harlem so yeah, maybe the battery isn't that warm because we didn't do any high speeds. Yesterday we did a lot of highway driving and then I got like 140, 150 kilowatts at the tritium uh, machines was the record speed of yesterday. So apparently, yeah, either I arrived with 6% here instead of 2 yesterday. Most of the times I arrived with 2% left yesterday. I really tried to get as low as possible. And now, uh, yeah, the battery is definitely not warm. I, I don't think it is this charger. Uh, yeah, we're only getting 110 and it's dropping. And yeah, we are not at, uh, at a high percentage at all. So interesting, I'm, yeah, I'm surprised, not in a good way, but I'm doing this to test all kinds of things. and. Now you know that if you're not driving at the highway, then probably you'll get shitty charging speed. So, uh, yeah, maybe you knew this already, but for me it's new. I'll show you the station a little bit more because it's quite pretty. Apologies for the wind. Yes, this is the fast net solar roof. Somebody's eating some fries over there. Or maybe some ice cream. And here you have the Shell station where the normal people uh, still come. So I wonder when Shell will realize that they have too many pumps and they need to replace it. But probably with Fastnet next door, maybe they won't. I, uh, I would understand for now. Let's see what's happening with the speed and then... Uh, probably time to go already because this speed is so unimpressive that I don't want to put more more power in the battery at this low speed because that's not not that interesting we can already do 74 kilometers again so I'm safe to drive to Amsterdam and whatever cool uh, more testing later I'll see you soon and uh, yeah, we're dropping to uh, almost 100 kilowatts. I mean, still the speed, of course, 
Like this is this is the best speed that the Mercedes EQC would get, for example. And we already had more. So it's not bad and it's a small it's a pretty small, relatively small battery. But yeah, really the heating up of the battery really matters and I programmed the supercharger um, in the navigation but that definitely didn't heat up the battery uh, enough so that's good to know I hope uh, you take this as a valuable lesson uh, because I have been driving you know less than 80 kilometers today and hardly at speed so that definitely uh, helps with lower charging speed so I'll log out push unlock charging stopped we'll check the, the screen check the key so here you see it 10 kilowatt hours in five and a half minutes not a bad score i'll see you soon